So last night around 3 a.m. when I was trying to go to sleep, I kind of thought of something very particular that happened. Well, one story happened one year ago and the other happened two years ago. So I thought, let's share some stories because I'm a good storyteller. Totally 100 legit. This is Eden's awesome story channel. So I was about to also share a story about how like two days ago I almost started a house fire. But we can talk about that later in like another video or something. So basically today I wanted to share you guys two stories of experiences I had with women. Basically if they were trying to hit me up or something like that. Now it's not common that this happens. This is like a very rare chance that this happens. I think the chances of this happening is about a one and a million chance. So like in a one in a million year uh, women will probably start hitting up on me. But I was very lucky that it happened back to back. Well back to back years. It happened in 6th and 7th grade. So let's start off with the sixth grade one. So I was in my language arts class, you know, it was last period. It was also homeroom. So I was pretty damn tired and I was wishing to go home away from the hellhole. And then I guess like behind me, there was like a bunch of girls or something. They were all playing true for dare and I didn't really listen to anything that they were doing. So I'm pretty sure that one of them decided to dare one of the other girls and say some shit like i dare you to ask out eden on a date so i didn't know how they were so confident in telling me this but when they asked me that question hey and you want to go on a date i gave the best response that came right off the top of my head no <laughs> i just said no immediately reject i was I, like i kindly declined her offer the girls started giggling i don't know if it's because if the way i say it like the way i say shit is very deep i say it with no with basically no emotion except just a sad emotion pretty much if that makes any sense but long story short yeah i pretty much just declined a nice dating offer now if i said yes what would happen we're literally probably nothing because it was just a little, um, it was just the, um, dare, so it probably wouldn't have happened anyway, or, you know, a dare is kind of serious. Maybe it was trying to, like, a joke, maybe, you never know. I don't think it would actually happen if it did. I would probably be tra traumatized for the rest of my life. But other than that, I feel like, I feel like that's really all I have to say for the first part of this video. It's just that in 6th grade, some girl technically asked me out, but not really. And I can't say their names because I don't have their consent. And if I send their names randomly, then they're going to find me. And then they're going to carambit me, backstab me, uppercut me, and then I'll die. With blood loss, pretty much. Now, the second story right here happened in 8th grade. And this time, in the lunchroom. So, you wouldn't believe this one. So, I was eating... Or just talking with my friends. I think I was done lunch at the time. And then an actual 8th grade girl came up to me. Kind of like touched my hand. And then she said, oh, your skin's so soft. What kind of lotion do you use? And at that point, like I had an immediate response. Because I just said the first thing that comes to my head. I said, I don't use lotion. And then the 8th grade uh, kids... Or teenagers behind me, they started laughing. Like I'm pretty sure that was also there. Cause why would an eighth grade girl just come up to me and just ask if I used lotion? I mean, unless she's trying to hit up on me, then I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to kindly decline your offer because, you know, I I really can't date women. Like they're emotional creatures and they can change their mind in like seconds. Like it's too much work to be honest. You can never know what they can do. You can go to a mall, don't like a dress, you pay $200, you'll go home, and she hates it. So that's why it's really hard to, like, be with them because they can change their mind. They they will just demand stuff if they're really that greedy. I don't know if I can find perfect girls, but I know in this world, it's very hard to find any perfect girl, And honestly. And that's pretty much all I have right now cooked up for you guys. So hope you enjoyed that. Dessert will be served momentarily. But yeah, if you ever gotten, like, have any of, I can't speak, I am Russian. But if this happened to you, 
hey, congratulations, you might actually have a girl. But anyways, in the worst case, like, I'm going to high school in just a couple of months. So, obviously, when I get into the ninth grade, things are going to get kicked up into a high gear with more, of course, learning, bunch of bullshit I will need, and most likely, like, proms and more dating and stuff. But I'm not entirely, like, I'm not going to probably date anyone as far as I know because... Like I said, women can't decide their mind, and if I can't find the perfect woman, then guess what? I'm just going to be pretty much screwed the entire life. Really? Okay, and yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, so. Um, I don't, if you try and hit me up, I'll have to kindly decline your offer. But it was just a very interesting experience to know that an actual eighth grade girl wanted to know if I used the lotion. <laughs> okay, whatever. Alright, take it easy, everyone. See you later.